Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's nine o'clock. It's time for a Hidden Gems. It's Wednesday, it's nine. Now, Hidden Gems is one of my favourite videos of the week on Magic TV. Basically, I talk about a trick that's come out years and years and years ago and I try to bring it to people's attention. The reason I like doing this is because I genuinely believe that we stand on the shoulders of giants. And, uh, you know, what we do is uh, we race to buy the latest and greatest magic trick thinking it's going to make us famous. Whilst in reality, a lot of the tricks that come out these days aren't as good as the things that came out years and years and years ago. So in this particular video series, I take a trick that maybe was marketed years ago or it was in a book or an online lecture or an online DVD or something like that, and I perform it for you and explain where you can get it from. Now today, I'm gonna to be talking about a true classic in my opinion, which is Reset by Paul Harris. Now the version of Reset that I'm gonna be doing for you is slightly different to Paul's original. It's my handling coupled with uh, Paul's handling coupled with a couple of phases out of um, variations, I think, by Earl Nelson. There's a few different um, tweaks to it, but the concept is still the same. This is Reset. Now, Reset is a beautiful routine. It's, for me, one of the best packet tricks that's ever been created. And the reason is, um, A, you don't need gimmick cards. You can just take the cards out of the deck. So if you're doing a routine where you've made four aces appear and then maybe you make four kings appear and then from there you can um, you can go into reset, then that's perfect because it's a great routine to follow a 2-4 of a kind production from. And, and the thing about reset is it's such a clarity of motion. There's a lot of economy of motion and it's very clear what the, prot, the plot is. That moment at the end where you press the button and the cards reset it's just beautiful. Uh, and you know what? I questioned whether I should include this on a Hidden Gems or not, because even though it came out many, many years ago, I think uh, I think the first time I saw it was maybe Super Magic, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's been bought out, variations have been bought out of this throughout the years. Paul, uh, Greg Wilson, obviously Michael Amar performed it on the East Master Card Magic series. There's been variations throughout the years, but I still have spoken to many magicians and they've never even heard of Reset. So for that reason, I'm performing it today for you. Before we go any further, let's have a look at a full performance of Reset so you can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about and I'll tell you why it's so good. Okay, so deck of cards, do you want to shuffle them first of all? I know you like it when you can shuffle a deck of cards. Now that I can. Now that you can shuffle. You get to show off your skills with a Z. Look at that. Oh. It's okay, fine. don't worry about it. You've just wrecked <laughs> Steve Deller's night flight deck, but it's fine. It's, it's all right. Sorry, Steve. Uh, I'm going to take out uh, the aces and the kings. So we've got an ace and a king. And we have an ace. And we have another ace and another king. And another king and another king. That's four kings and three aces. Uh, we're missing an ace of clubs, which is bad. I did have cards signed. We're not going to use the aces. We're going to use a different four of a kind. <laughs> um, perfectly meant for that to happen. So we'll use the sevens instead. That's one seven. The one there. That's two sevens. That's three sevens. I was testing you. Passed the test. Well done. You win in my grave. And that's four sevens. Perfect. So we're only going to use <coughs> um, uh, the sevens and the kings. Okay? Okay. Are you ready for this? Always. So we've got the uh, the King of Clubs, we've got the King of Hearts, we've got the King of Spades, that's that one there, and we've got the King of Diamonds, four kings. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm going to pop the four kings over there. It's not about the kings, it's really about the aces, uh, or the sevens. I'm going to find this very difficult, because I've done this yeah. so many times with sevens, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to start off with this seven, okay? Mm -hmm. If I just take this seven and I press the button in the middle, what happens is it changes into a king. <laughs> See, what happens is the sevens and the kings are changing places. Let me do that again. We'll take, uh, we've got, uh, we'll take one of the black kings, uh, one of the black sevens, sorry. We'll take this one here, rub it against this one, and when we do that one turns into a king as well, which is pretty cool. Um, leaves us with two sevens. Now, we'll do both of these at the same time. Are you ready? Going, going, gone. That would be, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that's all four kings change places with the sevens but there's a reset button do you see right there that little button in the middle with the star around it mm -hmm. that's a reset button press the reset button do you know what happens when you press the reset button 
It resets. It resets, and now we're back to the, what uh, the fuck? the 47s. Which means that over here, we've got the uh, we've got the four kings, which is an incredible trick. Now we have one, two, three, four kings over here, four sevens over here. Here's the kings. Here's the sevens. You can check everything out. No. <laughs> you were looking for gimmick cards there, weren't you? I know what There's you were doing. Some, yeah, it's... No, just a regular shuffle deck of cards in use. They're incredible. Have a look at them. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Behind your ear. So there you go, guys. That's Reset. Now... I love this routine, and there's a few reasons why. Now, first of all, you saw me doing it with a table, but you can do this without a table. There's no table required. Second of all, each, uh, each moment where that king changes into the ace and vice versa, each moment is so strong. It really is. Um, it's got that perfect thing where they know that the kings are here, they know that the aces are here, and yet they see the aces changing into kings one at a time, and they just don't see how that's even possible. And just when they've accepted that things are just completely bonkers, I love the thing the most is that you just press that reset button and things go completely back to normal. I mean, what a strong routine. And as I say, it's a regular deck of cards in use. Uh, there's no gimmicks. There's no um, setup to the deck at all. You can literally just take a cards, uh, take the cards and take the aces out and take the kings out. And you've got some really visual moments in there as well. Uh, I think that this trick really establishes credibility. In fact, this is a trick that would be great as an almost an opening routine because you can bring a deck of cards out and say, you know what? Most magicians will have you pick a card. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take out a four of a kind. You name a picture card. Do you want jacks, queen, or kings? Queens. Okay. You name a number card. What do you want? Aces. Right. Or fours. Great. We're going to take those out. And you can go into it from that starting point. And that's a great way to get into it. And also, from, a, uh, from, a, from the point of view of structuring a card act, as I said, this is a great routine to structure into a longer card act. Because if you've produced a four of a kind and you put them to one side, then you've produced another four of a kind. Hey, it's the perfect routine to go into. Um, you can get it from many, many, many places. I mean, uh, it was on the original Michael, Tamar Michael Amari Z to Master Card Magic series, which has recently been re-released by uh, Murphy's Magic. You can also get it from so many other places. There's downloads where you can get reset as well, as well as multiple DVDs. It's somewhere, it's something that's very um, accessible to learn. If you want to learn a really good version of it that's got kind of more of a poker theme, you might want to look into Greg Wilson on the Pyrotechnic Pasteboards um, DVDs, I'm pretty sure it was Pyrotechnic Paceboards, or it might have been Card Stunts, it's on one of them. He had a really cool version of Reset that went along a gambling theme. Uh, still basically the same thing, but he produced uh, four blackjack hands at the end. So there's lots of different ways to go with this, so many different fun ways to perform it. But if you've never performed Reset before, my gosh try it you'll absolutely love it so there you go guys that's another hidden gems in the bag do me a favor let me know what you think in the comments down below now you want to see more videos like this like the video subscribe to the channel i'm going to be back again tomorrow with another video and if you haven't already done so please go check out the net tricks it's www.thenettricks.com that's www.thenettricks.com you can access it immediately and see what all the fuss is about and see why so many people are joining because they are i will see you again soon thank you so much for watching my name's Craig from Magic TV.